Podcasting has become a huge industry over the years, and that's because they can make people a lot of money. But some people really love to have a visual aspect when taking in media. That's why we like YouTube videos, TikToks, and things like that, and not all podcasts have video elements. But some of them do, and I tend to think that having a video element in your podcast makes it more likely to be successful. You can look at some of the most successful podcasts out there, like H3 and also the Joe Rogan podcast. Both of these are video podcasts and are some of the most successful podcasts out there. And I can even say firsthand that when I had a podcast, our video podcast would sometimes get tens or even hundreds of thousands more views than our regular podcasts on the podcast app and Spotify because people like to see us interact with each other and with our guests. But now as of like a week ago, Spotify just gave podcast creators in the US, UK, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada the ability to make video podcasts and watch them on Spotify. So today I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to record, edit, and upload your video podcast to Spotify. Timestamps are down in the description below because I'm going to be pretty thorough with this one. So go down there and check out what you guys need. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so obviously having a video component to your podcast is going to be oftentimes a lot of extra work. When you're doing a regular podcast, simple audio are really small files. If you do have a video component though, you are going to have much larger files to deal with. You might have different camera angles for each person on set, like you, your co-host, your guest, or even others. So I'm gonna show you guys my favorite and I think the easiest way to record podcasts with video so that you don't have to be dealing with a ton of different files later. So my favorite favorite thing to use is called StreamYard. This is usually used for a live streaming and it's a program that can help you live stream, but you can also record right onto it and then download the file. So what you're going to want to do is just log into StreamYard. You can use the free version and then if you like it, you might want to subscribe to the paid version depending on your needs. Then you can go ahead and create a broadcast and then make a new broadcast. And then you can put where you wanna to broadcast to. If you don't want to live stream anywhere, you'll just click the record only button. So then you can create this broadcast, then you can add your name and you can also add in a higher definition camera if you wanna use a different camera or a different audio source. We tend to do this, we put our DSLRs, which I'm filming on right now, connect it to a USB and put it into our computers when we're doing our live show and it upgrades the quality a whole lot. But just for example purposes, I'll go ahead and enter the studio. So we pay for for the higher quality version. So we have a custom background, we have our logo in the corner, and then I can add myself to the stream. Then you can go ahead and invite people to your stream using the invite button. So if you have a co-host or a guest, when they get on your stream, then they will come down here like where mine is. You can click the add to stream button, and then you can use these different types of layouts. So this one will put them next to each other. This one will have it with your background. Um, you can also share slides by using the share button. And this is a little example of what that looks like when you're recording and you can move around the different layouts as you go to keep it interesting. But then when you download it, you won't have to edit all of these different clips. So then you'll go ahead and click the record button. And then when you're done, you'll click the done recording button. Then when you're done, you'll just click the StreamYard button and then go to your videos tab. And then you can see the things that you just recorded. So this was our recent one that we recorded. And then you can just go ahead and download the recording. And then you'll wanna download the video recording, of course. Okay, so now that you have your video files, you may want to edit out things like pauses or if you stumbled over your words or if you had to repeat something several times because you kept messing up or just said something that you didn't mean. Maybe you wanna add in jingles, sound effects, or maybe you wanna add in sponsorships that you got after the fact. You can do all of that in post-production. So today I'm gonna show you guys how you can make edits in our online video editor, Kapwing. And it's all online, so you don't have to download anything. So try it out by clicking the first link in the description. You can click that, it'll bring you to Kapwing. You can use the free version of Kapwing if your video is under 30 minutes when you export it, and the files that you upload are under 250 megabytes. If it's over 250 megabytes and you want to export something that's up to an hour, you're gonna to have to upgrade to Pro. Okay, so you're gonna to head to kapwing.com, that's K-A-P-W-I. ING. Then you're just going to want to sign in. You can do so with Google or Facebook or however you want. Then in your workspace, you can go ahead and create a new project. And then you can go ahead and upload the file that you got from StreamYard or if you have just other video files as well. Okay, so now it's in the timeline. You might have to wait a couple of minutes for it all to upload. So here are some things that you can do in the Kapwing editor. Um, let's say you want to cut out all of the silences. You can use Smart Cut on the right here. Just go ahead and click Smart Cut and then it will highlight all of 
the places where there are silences in your videos. You can also use the sensitivity slider on the left to decide how sensitive you want this to pick up the silences. And then you can click play and listen to the new recording that it would be if you click the done button. If it's highlighting something that you don't wanna cut out, you can go ahead and zoom in and then you can click the red bar that it plans to cut out and that will no longer be cut out to cut it out again, you can click it again. Then when you're happy with that, you can click done. Other note is that if you wanna just split a particular part, maybe you said something wrong, maybe you repeated yourself, you can just go in, find the place that you want to cut, click the split button or use the S key on your keyboard, click split, find the other place that you wanna split, click split, and then you can just delete that portion. If you have many edits, you also can turn on the ripple mode on the right here so that when you delete something, it'll all slide down automatically. If you'd like to add background music, you can also go to the audio tab on the left sidebar and then bring in any of our royalty-free music that we have in our library, or you can upload your own using the upload button or paste in a link. Then when you're done, you can go ahead and click the export video button in the top right and then download your file. So now you have your official podcast file that you wanna upload. Yay, we're almost done. Now you just have to go to anchor.fm. Anchor is Spotify's podcast distribution platform so you can upload and then distribute your podcast to a bunch of different apps including Spotify. So once you go there you can either sign in using an email or you can also sign in using Google, Twitter, or other options. You can also sign up using the sign up page and this is a better idea if you already have an existing podcast because on this sign up page here you'll see that you can import an existing podcast. So if you already have a podcast click that you can click the switch in less than five minutes and then follow the directions to put your podcast on Anchor. You have to use Anchor to get your video podcast on Spotify, so you may have to do this. If you've never made a podcast before, then you can go ahead and just log in regularly. Then you'll get this welcome to Anchor screen. So if you wanna upload your new video podcast, you can go ahead and click the new episode button and then click quick upload. Then you can go ahead and upload your video right here and then put in the episode title, description, and then you can click the publishing date. So if you wanna publish it right now, you can do that. Or if you're scheduled it, you can also schedule it. You can also add in little interactive things um, here by adding polls or adding Q&A questions. Then you can put in the season, episode, and episode type, as well as whether it's clean or explicit. And then you can upload the episode art. And you're able to make a lot of different art on Kapwing. You can design your cover art for your podcast on there by going to our image editor. That'll be the second link in the description below. And then you're gonna wait for it to upload and then you're going to go ahead and publish it. And then you should be able to go to Spotify in just a few moments and find your video podcast. So then to find the video podcast on desktop, all you're going to do is go ahead and find a podcast, just search for it, and then you can click the play button. And then once it's playing, you can see down in the corner here, there's this little video play button. You're just gonna wanna click that, it'll start playing, and then you can open up um, full screen and watch the entire thing like so. All right, you guys, that is it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators and to keep up with our other videos on tutorials, trends, and product updates in Kapwing. And I'll see you guys in the next one.